Hello everyone, welcome back sa ating channel. Today, pag-uusapan natin kung paano nga ba natin gagamitin yung tinatawag na paired samples t-test or sa ibang books, ito rin yung tinatawag na dependent samples t-test or sa ibang literature naman, meron pang ibang tumatawag dito na t-test for within groups o kaya naman t-test for t-test re repeated measures. Sa ibang literature, pwede na itong tawagin bilang titas for correlated samples, pero bihira ko lang yun marinig. Ang unang question dito ay, kailan nga ba ginagamit ang paired o ang dependent titas o ang within groups titas? Ginagamit ito kadalasan kapag meron tayong dalawang scores na naobtain mula sa same na grupo. Meaning, same pa rin yung respondents mo, pero dalawang beses mo sila kinuha na ng score. At yun yung example na gagamitin natin mamaya. Meron pang isang situation kung saan pwede kang gumamit ng paired t-test. Halimbawa, kung meron kayong experimental na subject or kung gumagawa kayong experimental research, may mga pagkakataon kung saan gusto mo na yung group A mo ay parang kamuka nung nasa group B mo. So, gumagawa ka ng paraan para yung group A ay maging kamuka nung group B. Kunyari, same na breed ng aso, Okay, same na klase ng pusa. Although magkaibang pusa yan, you try your best na dapat similar sila. Or pwede rin naman, kunyari, kambal, di ba? So pwede mo rin gamitin doon yung dependent sample status. Ang tawag namin doon sa psychological research, ay yun yung tinatawag na match. Okay, yung match na sample. Okay, anyway, so yun yung dalawang options mo. Either kapag nag, ano ka, gumamit ka ng same group ng dalawang beses or kapag nag-matching ka. Anyway, mag-proceed na tayo sa ating tutorial. So, let me show to you now. Um, ito yung aking gagamitin software, yung Jumovi. Tapos, yung isa pa natin gagawin is that, papakita ko sa inyo paano yung APA report writing. So, before natin, i, um, before natin gawin yung demonstration, kailangan muna natin malaman paano ba mag-state ng hypothesis gamit ang, uh, paano mag-state ng hypothesis sa repeated or sa um, paired t-test or sa dependent samples t-test. So, unahin natin yung um, null hypothesis natin. Ang pagka-state niyan dapat ganito. Kunyari, ito kasi is about life satisfaction before and during COVID. Tingnan natin. So, sa null hypothesis, there is no significant difference in life satisfaction scores before and during the COVID-19 pandemic. Alright? Take note of the key phrase, no significant difference. Tapos, alternative hypothesis mo, actually, meron kang two options, depende sa iyong direction sa research. Usually kasi, um, yung researcher na yung decide ano yung gagamitin niya. Meron tayong two-tailed at one-tailed. Pag sinabing two-tailed, sinasabi mo lang na may difference, pero hindi mo sinasabi anong grupo yung mas mataas. So, tingnan natin ito. Um, pwedeng ganito, no? There is a significant difference in life satisfaction scores before and during the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay? So, yes, may difference. There is a significant difference. Pero hindi mo sinabi anong grupo yung mas mataas. Kapag one-tailed naman yung gamit mo, kasi, for example, may idea ka kung sino yung mas mataas, di ba? Pwedeng ganito. The life satisfaction scores obtained before COVID the COVID-19 pandemic will be higher compared to the scores obtained during the outbreak or the pandemic. Or kung gusto mong balikta rin, malay mo, tingin mo pala mas mataas yung life satisfaction during COVID. One-tailed pa rin yun. Okay? So, ikaw nang bahalang mamili, pero most of the time, kung walang idea yung researcher, ang assumption na doon, two-tailed yung ginagamit niya. Okay? Kung hindi niya in state or bago pa lang itong research na ito, two-tailed madalas yung gamitin. Okay? And yung mga software natin, kapag hindi nila alam kung one-tailed or two-tailed tayo, ina-assume nila na automatically two-tailed yung gamit natin. Anyway, mag-proceed na tayo sa analysis. Ipo-full screen ko yung Jamovi. Tapos, ito yung ating data. Kinuha natin yung life satisfaction nila gamit ang isang survey before COVID at during COVID. Tapos, tingnan natin. Ayan, pinangalanan na natin ng before COVID. Make sure na ang iyong measure type ay continuous kasi isa itong score. Ganon din sa during COVID. Dapat ito ay continuous. Kung gusto nyo palitan yung data variable nyo, pindutin nyo lang dito. Anyway, so dapat ganyan yung ating pagka-setup ng data sa Jamovi. At pagkatapos, pwede na tayo mag-t-test. Click on t-test. Click on paired samples t-test. Tapos, i-drag nyo lang yung parehong variable sa paired variables. At magra-run na yung ating paired samples t-test. 
Tapos ayan, may result na tayo. We can check on effect size. Tapos, tingnan nyo hypothesis. Kapag two-tailed, piliin nyo ito yung may not equal sign. Okay? Measure 1 is not equal to measure 2. Pero kung may idea kayo, anong grupo yung mas mataas sa dalawa, it's either na piliin nyo yung second tsaka yung, o yung third button. Kasi pag yung second button, tingnan nyo, measure 1 or group 1 is greater than group 2. So parang sila sabi mo, before COVID is higher than during COVID. Yung namang third, sabi niya, measure 1 is less than compared to measure 2. Or sinasabi mo, before COVID um, is less than during COVID. So depende. Okay, ito yung group 1, yung measure 1, yung group 2, yun yung measure 2. Okay, so um, something to know. Pero kung hindi kayo sure, just use yung una. Measure 1 is not the same or not equal with measure 2. Tapos, check din natin yung descriptive. So, ayan, makikita na natin sa ating screen na yung ating pair t test ay nag-significant at less than 0 0.001. So, ibig sabihin, meron talagang significant difference. Tapos, yung ating t-statistic ay ito, yung 6.76 at significant yung difference nila kasi nga less than 0 0.001. Tapos, sa mga nagtitake naman ng masters, baka tinuro na sa inyo yung Cohen's D. Okay? At... Anyway, pwede nyo naman isearch sa internet interpretation ng Cohen's D. Available yan kahit saan. Pero ang interpretation nito, since mas mataas ito yung sa 0.8, ibig sabihin nito, large effect size. Sir, ba't mo tinutunoy effect size kung pwede namang p-value lang naman? Ang p-value kasi minsan posibleng hindi mag-significant kapag konti lang participants mo. E di, mas, hindi maganda yung outcome ng research mo. Pero pwede mo pa rin ipaglaban yung result mo by looking at the Cohen's D. Minsan kasi ganun eh. Sa papakita mo sa kanila, large yung effect size, although hindi nag-significant. Large naman yung effect size ko. So, um, we, hindi tayo pwedeng mag-conclude na lang na walang difference. Okay? Pero dito, sure tayo na may difference. Kasi large na nga yung effect size, tapos significant pa at less than 0 0.001. Specifically, kung titingnan natin yung descriptives natin, mas mataas yung life satisfaction, mean ng life satisfaction before kaysa sa during COVID. Ngayon, kap dahil meron na tayong result, ready na tayong i-type yan. So, um, let me open the document. Ayan. Ito yung aking maikse pero direct to the point na write-up. Tingnan natin ito. This study is conducted to determine okay, if there are changes in life satisfaction before, oh, life satisfaction scores before and during the COVID-19 pandemic. A paired samples t-test was utilized since the researchers utilized a within subjects design. Pag sinabing within subjects, same participant, ginamit mo twice. Okay, pero kapag sa ANOVA, pwede rin thrice, pero t-test tayo, kaya twice lang eh. Yung kabaliktara ng within subject ay tinatawag na between subject. Pag sinabi natin between subject, iba-ibang participant per group. Okay, ito kasi same participant, kaya within. Results revealed that the scores, okay, before COVID, the scores obtained, okay, or the, uh, yeah, tama, obtained before COVID, report nyo yung mean at yung standard deviation galing sa inyong before COVID dito sa descriptive table, was significantly higher compared to the scores obtained during the outbreak. Mean during the outbreak, standard dev ng during the outbreak. Tapos, don't forget to indicate the comma. Tapos, the, Sa dulo ng sentence, ilagay nyo na yung t-statistic. Isang italicized na t, tapos yung degrees of freedom na 14. Okay? Tapos, ilagay natin yung t-statistic na 6.76, comma, italicized na small p, p-value na less than 0 0.001, tapos, comma, Cohen's d, 1.74. Pwede mo rin i-elaborate na ang ibig sabihin nito ay large effect size. Kung gusto mo isama dito, okay lang. Pero pwede mo rin naman i-separate sentence. Anyway, sa last sentence ko, in-interpret ko in layman's term. With these results, it can be argued that the COVID-19 pandemic may have an effect on a person's well-being or happiness. If you want to elaborate, pwede ganito. Specifically, mas mababa. Okay, lower ang life satisfaction during COVID compared sa before COVID. Tapos, tsaka ka na mag-argue ano mga possible reasons mo. Okay, so that is it for this tutorial. I hope marami kayong natutunan and I hope na, na magamit nyo ito sa inyong sariling research. Don't forget to like this video, share this to your classmates, and see you next time for another tutorial.
Thank you. Have a nice day.